on YouTubers. Figure I'd go ahead and get you a uh, another moto vlog, uh, trike vlog video uploaded for you guys. Um, I was able to find a curvy road in an area that's got nothing but crisscrossing, straight roads. So this one, I'm really going to just kind of discuss that transition from two wheel to three wheel. As you see in the video, my position is just like if I'm on a two wheeler. Um, the big thing with the two wheeler though is you're kind of like trying to find your lanes. With the three wheeler, you got a little smaller area to work with. So any obstacles or potholes or anything in the road, um, I try to either put my front tire to the left of it or to the, just to the right of it and let it pass through those uh, that space between your front tire and that red, rear tire. Uh, as far as cornering, instead of leaning, I'm just gently pushing with my left hand here, a little bit of a pull with my right hand, not too terribly bad though. Um, and this literally, this is 55 mile an hour going around this curb. You can kind of see I lean my body just, just a little bit. If you're getting you know, aggressive into other turns, kind of like riding a four-wheeler, you really get that lean in there. So this is, uh, this is one of the curvy roads that goes between Silver Springs Boulevard and State Route 40 uh, for like when we're going to Daytona, uh, Ormond Beach, Flagler. Everybody hits State Route 40. But uh, no, it's, you know, if you're checking out my videos, which thank you, uh, and you're thinking about going from two wheels to three, I really hope my videos help you out. Um, I put my videos out there to inform and educate, kind of let everybody know um, what it's like to transition from, from a two-wheel motorcycle to a three-wheel trike motorcycle. Um, what accessories work on the Rogue Light 3, what doesn't, how we're gonna fix that. Um, and uh, just, you know, overall, putting a good vibe out there for the Rogue Light 3s. Of course, I won't be able to do any major cornering with a camper sitting in front of me, but um, just, you know, the, the big thing to understand is you don't have to really fight a trike with the wind, um, with, with trying to go into corners, you know, leaning into corners a little bit more. There still is a lean to it, but you're not leaning the whole bike over. You're leaning your body over. Instead of controlling your turn and counter steering on a two-wheel motorcycle, here, this is all at the handlebar and your upper body. So, that's the big thing. You know, as, as the trike undulates on the road, best thing I can describe and, and advise you guys and gals with is just let the trike float onto you. Don't sit here just rigid as a board. You got to let your hips and your uh, your abs, your core, just let it kind of work because the trike's going to sit there and kind of move under you independently and you just keep your, your upper torso straight, your arms straight just let the bike move under you. Um, kind of like when I was racing mountain bikes or anytime you're riding a bicycle, you know, you just, you gotta let the machine just float under you. But, you know, having that comfort is great. Like coming to a stop, you know, which we'll be coming up to a stop here shortly. Um, you don't have to put your feet down. It's, it's great. 
No. Yes, it's it's the cup I usually use that doesn't spill all over the damn place. <laughs> but I just kind of want to throw a video out, um, a little different perspective as far as the camera goes. Can't see the rear tires, but they're right uh, they're right behind me here. But I just wanted you to see in the video, if my body's moving. It's moving very slightly. I'll come up here, I'll do a U-turn, you'll see a difference. Man, it's a beautiful day out. I think, uh, I think it's 82 degrees and sunny, a little bit of breeze. Um, that's the other thing about the trikes. Getting those crosswinds, you feel them, but it doesn't shove you over. Or you're leaning into the wind and you go into a group of trees and then you're like, shit, I'm leaning into the wind, I don't have to lean anymore. Um, Semi-trucks passing by you. Any, any large vehicle passing by you, hitting you with that buffet of, uh, of air. <clears throat> it all works out great. You feel it, but you don't have to really react to it um, like you do on a two-wheeled motorcycle. I really do enjoy I'm going over here. I really do enjoy just the maneuverability of the trikes, especially at slow speed. Literally, that was like a six foot, seven foot U turn. All right, open road, let's go. That's what she said, huh? Dying breed. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy my videos. I'm throwing these out there um, to be informative, to educate you, let you kind of know my thoughts on the whole transition for the, to the trike. Um, like I've said before, this is my first trike. I've owned it uh, since January 31st. And I absolutely love it. I've got uh, 1,073 miles on it right now. And it, it's just, it's phenomenal. Uh, we had two cars, motorcycle, and I literally got to the point where we sold one of our vehicles. We didn't need it. It literally just sat in the driveway. So I'm like, why are we paying for insurance? registration, all that crap, for it to just sit. This this is my second vehicle here in Florida. Now I know you guys up north and other places, you know, you have to put it away. I'm sorry. I just, I feel so bad having to say that. I lived in Illinois. I know, I know how you're feeling. But being able to ride all year round, this has become my second vehicle. Anytime, you know, we want to take off, go to the store, jump on the Road Glide 3. Want to go grab some lunch, jump on the Road Glide 3. Bad weather, jump in the other car. Who cares? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Again, I appreciate everybody checking out my videos. Again, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. Um, I've said before, I don't get paid for, for any of this. This is all on my own dime. Cameras, mics, all that good stuff. Um, if I do get a thousand subscribers, then I get to apply to YouTube and then the extra money I make from that will help me sustain my channel, so to speak. So anyway, again, I appreciate all of you guys checking out my videos. I hope they help you out. Um, I hope they've educated you on how things are going. 
And again, you guys be safe, be blessed, give more, peace.